Hey guys, so today I'm going to be switching up a little bit with Saver and we're going to be learning how to do doubles and triples. So first I'll show you how those look. Here's a double. You're going to go five, six, squeeze, dip, one, two, catch. One more time. You're going to go five, six, squeeze, dip, one, two, catch. All right, and then for a triple, this is how it's going to look. You're going to go five, six, squeeze, dip, one, two, three. Again, five, six, squeeze, dip, one, two, three. All right, now let's break that down. First thing you're going to want to do is warm up a little bit. Do about ten spins on each arm just to get yourself into that little groove of tossing and everything like that. Strengthen up your arms a little bit. You guys want to make sure you're doing these spins just about every day. Some of these exercises just about every day to build up that strength because the higher these tosses the better we look we want to get that consistency all right here we go start off with you're going to be throwing a double it's going to be right at your waist hands going to be down here on the blade at your spin point left hand's going to be underneath on the hilt we're going to do hilt tosses with these all right arms about shoulder width you're going to count five six on seven, you're going to squeeze, like visibly squeeze that saber. Seven, dip eight. Make sure that dip is a strong angle like this. Now our release point for a double is about right here below our chin. We want that double to spin just about right here above our head, all right? So we're going to try that. We're going to release on one. So five, six, squeeze, dip, one, all right? Let's try that all together now, and you're going to catch on the end of two. So it's going to go five, six, squeeze, dip, one, two, catch. All right, let's try that all together now. You're going to go five, six, squeeze, dip, one, two, catch. All right, let's do it again. Five, six, squeeze, dip, one, two, catch. All right, make sure both those hands are catching solid like this. Make sure we're squeezing whenever we catch so we're not wobbly. Also, Keep in mind guys, we're on those free hands. This one that's releasing, it's going to be straight up and down like a palm. This one goes straight down to our leg like this. We don't want to be grabbing in front or back or crawling up like this. Try to keep it down flat. If you guys need to practice that or just the release point, go down, squeeze like this. Just do this a bunch of times. Get that hand movement in place and I promise it's just going to fall straight right here into your hands. All right? Let's do that double a couple more times. Ready? Here we go. Five six squeeze dip one two catch again five six squeeze dip one two catch last time five six squeeze dip one two catch there we go talking about triples now same placement same prep you're going to steal five six squeeze on seven dip eight your release point is going to be different for triples though it's going to be up here by your chin. Your thumb's going to be about even with your chin. And we're going to get a little more lift on that. So here you go. You're going to go five, six, squeeze seven, dip eight, toss one, two. And you're going to catch on three. Instead of catching on the end of two like we did with doubles, you're going to catch on the count three. All right, let's do that again. Five, six, squeeze, dip, one, two, three. All right. A couple more times. We're going to go five, six, squeeze, dip, one, two, three. Again, five, six, squeeze, dip, one, two, three. Last time, five, six, squeeze, dip, one, two, three. All right. That's it for me today, guys. Make sure you guys practice your balance points, squeezing really hard so it's not wobbling. Make sure you wash those free hands. Make sure they're in the right placements for both of those. Let me know if you have any questions.